figure the likelihood of me rolling a six on this die. Can we use the relative frequency approach? I mean, what if I toss the die 20 times and come up with the following results? The side with one dot comes up two times, the side with two dots comes up four times, the side with three dots comes up one time, the side with four dots eight times, the side with five three times, and the side with six dots comes up two times. Those results show that four comes up most often. So using the relative frequency approach, we can say that there's a big chance that four will come up again since it's the figure that comes up most often. That's true, but there's another approach that we can use. If we don't have a record of how frequent an event occurred, then we have to rely on sample spaces. First, sample spaces give another definition of an event. Any subset of a sample space is an event. Can you think of some examples? Selecting an ace at random from a deck of 52 cards would be an event. Rolling a six on a die would be an event. And how many sample points would these events have? For the event of selecting an ace from a deck of 52 cards, there would be the ace of spades, the ace of hearts, the ace of diamonds, and the ace of clubs. That would make four points. For rolling a die for a 6, the sample point is 1. I just realized something! What if the die was a balanced die? What if one side of the die was weighted so that one face would always come up? Now that's a very important thing to remember when considering experiments in probability. We are assuming here that all the outcomes have an equally likely chance of happening. So we are assuming that the coin and the die are fair and balanced, and the deck of cards is a regular deck. Now, using the ideas of experiment, sample space, sample point, and event, we arrive at the idea of classical probability. Classical probability is defined as follows. If an experiment can result in n equally likely outcomes, and an event E can result in N outcomes, then the probability that E will occur is small n over big N. We denote it as Now let's work with some examples. Now, What's the probability of an even number resulting from a single toss of this die? It would have a sample space of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So n is equal to 6. The sample points in the event is 2, 4, 6. So n even number equals 3. So the probability of getting an even number from a single toss of this die would be 3 out of 6, or 1 half. Now, what if I toss a pair of dice? What's the probability that I would get a sum of 7? Each die has 6 possible results, so 2 dice have 6 to 6 results. 6 times 6 is 36. There are 36 results that can come up with two dice, so n is equal to 36. And there are six sample points that correspond to the event, which is coming up with a sum of 7. We express the six sample points as... Therefore, the probability of obtaining the sum of 7 is 6 out of 36, or 1 6. I just realized something. I can look at my case with a classical approach. There are 15 students in my class. Therefore, there is one chance in 15 chances that my name will be drawn for recitation. Let's work with more examples. Wait, how many children are there in your family? Um, there are three of us. Okay, there are three children in Mike's family. 
Let's create a sample space. If there are three children in a family, what gender could these children be? We already know that one of them is a boy. It could be that all three are boys. Or it could be that there are two boys and one girl, or two girls and one boy. Can you think of any more possibilities? Mm, no, I think those are all the possibilities. Great! So that's our sample space with three sample points. So there's one chance out of three chances that Mike has one brother and one sister. I do have one brother and one sister. Using classical probability, let's work with more examples. Try this with us. Figure out the chances of a candidate winning. A. For president, if there are eight candidates. B. For senator, if there are 384 candidates. assume first that all the candidates are equally well known and that the elections will be fair.